All right, so it was requested that I show how to upload a model to Maker World here. Um, we're going to start in Bamboo Studios here. I'm going to use these half domes that I used in my previous video for the variable layer heights. And there's this button here that they've added in Bamboo Studio called Upload. And you click it there, and it just takes you to the form on how to upload on Maker World. I was really hoping it had some sort of integration on Bamboo Studio. Um, but this is exactly what you're going to get to if you just go through Maker World. So here's my profile. I'll hit upload here. Uh, you can do an original, a remix, or import from a third party website. So the import works pretty smoothly uh, with printables. They've got around that block. Um, I haven't tried Thingiverse, but it was, it was really straightforward with printables. Uh, we're going to do an original because I have those files. Uh, yes, I do have a 3MF. Um, so I'll bring this over to the side here and I have the folder with those files in it. I have a 3MF file, which I can drag over. And then I have a solid part from SolidWorks and an STL as the originals that can go here as my original raw model files. So that's all there is for this uh, portion. You go next step. And it's all the same stuff there. It's got the raw model files. Model name, I'm going to call this uh, variable layer half domes half spears half domes oh, half domes that's what we're going to go with i'm going to add some photos that i just took here and i'll make this the cover category they've got 3d printer test models which is exactly what this is perfect uh, i'll put sphere with a comma, period, space, enter, enter to add tags, and we'll go dome, variable height, and variable, and height. All right, that's enough of that. Now we have a not safe for work content for adults only checkbox, and this is definitely safe for work so we're leaving that unchecked uh, allow now we get to the licenses uh, you can allow adaptations of your work to be shared yeah this can be shared wherever you like and then allow commercial uses of your work if someone manages to sell these yeah uh, congrats to you um, we'll leave that as yes allow sharing without attribution yep so now we're in public domain Visibility, you can make public or private. Private, you would see it on your page only. Uh, we're gonna make this public for everyone to see. Tell everyone about your models. Just give it a short description here. I'm gonna say uh, test print for using uh, variable layer heights. And you could add some documentation here if you wanted to. I don't have any documentation to go along with this print. So we'll do add print profile. And now the 3MF file that I uploaded earlier is automatically selected. Uh, it's allowing me to replace file. I don't have a file that I want to put in there. So we're just leaving it at that. Uh, print profile name 0.2 millimeter layer. I'm going to change this to variable layer because that's what it is and two walls and 15 infill sounds about right what i used and print profile description so now i can describe these print plates so like this three here uh, print plate one is the variable eight Slice model uh, print plate two is the standard height. We'll even add zero point two millimeters. Sliced model and print plate three is both 
on the same print plate. And I didn't write sliced correctly, so we'll correct that. And that looks good. I'm going to publish that. And now you can see that it is verifying. I'm not sure if this goes through a uh, person verification. Like, I don't know if there's an actual person on the other end of this or if they have an automated algorithm for, uh, for checking these. But it goes through a verifying process uh, and then it'll notify you when it's been published. So we'll wait for that. I'll jump back in once it's been published and we'll take a look at it on my profile. All right, so that didn't take very long. It took about 30 seconds after I, uh, I said that comment earlier. And so it's been published. So published print profiles and published models. Uh, so now you can see it on my profile here, variable layer height half dome and the print profile. That's all she wrote. Feel free to print this for yourself. I'll put a link in the description. And I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one.